with everything that is going on in the world right now, my family, young family, and I, we have all decided that we are going to get out of the city and head on to a little tiny country property where we will be able to raise our own food, produce our own energy, make sure that we have our own water, and of course that we will have a shelter over our roofs. We just don't know. We don't know what might be happening. It just feels as though something catastrophic is about to happen in America and indeed in the world. And so we would like to invite you to join and subscribe to our channel as we share with you all about what we're doing to be able to lead a self-sustaining life. And hopefully we will inspire some of you to do the same as we move along our journey. So welcome. Uh, ourselves that is able to support, um, give us all the energy that we need to be able to be off the grid. Come with me and let me show you. So now um, I'm up on the roof. And I just want to show you uh, the solar arrays. Here we have um, 40, 405 watt solar panels uh, for a total of 16 kilowatt hours. So when I was uh, looking up to see the kind of system that will be able to support our home, I checked out with a few solar installation companies and they all told me that I was going to need about a 8 kilowatt system. 8 solar kilowatt system. So <clears throat> you know what I did? I went ahead and doubled that. So I put up a 16 kilowatt solar array. Now on this lower level these are 16 solar panels and eight of them in series from this side and then eight of them in series from the other side and then they join right here in the middle to make a parallel connection and go straight as one string into the inverter and then up there we have um, a string of eight in series and a string of eight in series and then the two of them are connected in parallel and then they go into the inverter as one string then on the other side of the roof is another set of eight in series right here this is a set of eight in series and then these they go straight into the inverter as a string so two strings go into one inverter and then one string of 16 eight in par eight in series eight in series and then the two series together in parallel go into another inverter now i will take you inside and then uh, i'll show you what we have done to 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 connect our system in the inside first point of entry is right here <clears throat> so this is a DC disconnect this is where we will disconnect if we need it to do any kind of uh, you know repair or anything this 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 is the switch that we use to disconnect As you can see now everything is turned off right here these are all of the strings coming in here so there are as i said there are three strings that come here and this is a three pole um, disconnect switch but there's an extra um extra string that is not connected here and we're not using it i just put it in there just in case in the future i need to add more panels which I do not think it's going to happen. So this is the first disconnect and it is in 
the owls. <coughs> now, after that, we have two conduits, one going to one inverter and another one to another inverter. Now, these go up on the roof. They go up on the roof and then come down here to these inverters. Now these are the ones that convert the DC power from the solars to AC. So this one takes two channels, I mean two, two strings up from the roof and this one only has uh, one, one channel. As you can see, as I said, it's almost 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. right now, but the inverter is still making this one is making 907 watts i don't know if you can see that i think it's a little blurry and this one is making let's see this one is making um 386 watts at just just before the sun goes down at eight o'clock now after this these these are grid tied inverters so these inverters will not work if there is they're not connected to the grid so because we are off grid here we have these sunny island sma inverters and then there, there are two of them sunny island um sma inverters now these are the ones that will provide a perfect grid for the sunny boys so that those sunny boys are able to make energy uh, from the from the solar panels otherwise without these inverters those ones will not be able to um, change power from dc to ac so these are um 6000 watt watt inverters and there's two of them and they are connected in parallel so at one point we can have a continuous 12,000 watts continuous energy at any point to be able to power our appliances and at no point that we will never will ever need all that energy again it goes up on the roof and it comes right up here into this sub panel as you can see this one says sunny boy sunny boy one sunny boy two and then at this same inverter that is where the sunny islands meet the sunny boys right and then so this and then from this inverter this, this uh, sub panel I get now all the energy and take it into the main main panel for the house so you can see this is the house main panel and it has all the breakers for the entire house so I didn't want to move any of the wires from this main panel and bring them into the the, the 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 sub panel because that could have been just too much work as you can see it's just too many wires so what i did was i instead i just brought the power from here from the sub panel i brought it through this conduit in six um, gauge wires and brought it into right here this 60 amp breaker that is where the solar energy comes in here we have our battery bank this is the most important you know part of our off-grid solar system and these are lithium ion batteries there are uh, 12 of them and one of them is 6.65 kilowatt hours for a total of about 80 kilowatt hours there is enough energy to last us for about three days because we use about 25 to 35 um, kilowatt hours in a day so if we were not to have the sun for about three days we will still run everything in the house just as normal 
without ever worrying. Let me show you everything that our off-grid solar system is able to power. Here, because we're living in a country property, we don't have city water. So we get water from the, from the, uh, from the well. And that well needs a 200 volt, uh, 240 volt pump. And this is the, the electrical stuff of that pump that is going into the pump comes, then the water comes into this pressure, pressure tank. So that system runs that well water without any problem, a 240 volt. Now here we have our electric water heater. This is um, Rahim electric water heater, about a year old. Um, and it, um, it's about 50, I think it's 50 gallons of water and just runs on our solar system without any problem. Take you upstairs and show you the other appliances that we are able to run on, um, on our solar system. Here we have our central air conditioning system. And uh, this is the only thing that runs on propane to heat during the during the win during the winter. But during the summer, we use the central air conditioning, which is electric. And I'll show you that air compressor outside. It's a five-turn air compressor. Now, um, now I am um, upstairs, and I just want to show you. This is a washer, electric washer that we use in our house. This is our electric um, dryer that we use in the house. And actually, as I said, the dryer is running right now. It's about eight o'clock at night. We're just running it like it's daytime or like we were on the grid without any problem. You know, right now it's probably pulling about 4,000 watts. Our inverters are able to provide up to 12,000 watts at a time so as you can see it's running at night there's no sun outside but we are running on our battery bank no problem and then, of course i just did that that load that is on the washer right i mean on the dryer right now outside here we have a um, five turn ac unit that is able to um, provide cooling for the entire home which is about 3700 uh, square foot of a home and it cools the entire upstairs and and the basement and of course it runs on the off-grid system without any any problem now the only thing that i had to do was that w when these compressors starts it pulls out it was pulling out a lot of amps, about 100, and, 100 amps to just get it started. So what I did was I put in a soft start on the invert, on, on, on the compressor. And then after that, it's just been running without any hiccups. Uh, it, it brought that startup current from about 100 amps to 30, 35 amps to get to get it started so it runs without any any problem well thank you very much for taking your time and watching our video this was our first video and uh, we hope that you liked it and enjoyed it and uh, you will like and subscribe onto our channel and uh, in the coming weeks we are going to share a lot of details with all of you on what we are doing on our homestead in order to be able to lead a self-sustaining life. We need to be able to have, as, as I said at the beginning, food, water, energy, security, and of course, a shelter. So we, that was part one, energy, right? We were just showing you how, what we're doing to be able to provide our energy for our homestead. And as you can see, it's by using solar. Now, the coming weeks, I'm going to be talking to you specifically what we did to put that solar system together. All right. Thank you very much. 
like and subscribe and see you next time